Linda Barch from the Bruce Company is here taking your calls at 608-270-9933. Good to see you. Good to see you, Mark. It's not waiting for spring. You're going to bring spring to us. I've got lots of color here. There's such pretty flowers available. And I, I want to tell people that this little cute little mini, miniature rose, the pink one, that actually is very hardy. So you, you can plant this in your... Not, don't put it outside just yet because it's in a greenhouse setting. But that is something that you can plant once we get past danger of frost. And it will survive quite well because it's on its own root. Okay. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So, yeah. I like it. All right, let's get to the phones. We will start with Karen from Cambridge. Hi, Karen. What's your question? Yes, hi. I have a boomerang lilac bush that's gotten to be about uh, 9, 10 feet tall and about 4 or 5 feet wide. I'd like to cut it back as much as I can safely, and I was wondering what time of the year I should do that. Okay. It blooms beautifully twice a year. That's wonderful. That's the, that's the largest one that I've heard about. So the, the trick is that you would want to wait till things are, are blooming and then probably um, prune it. I, I am not as familiar with that particular lilac, but because typically we have lilacs that bloom in June, and then you can decide that you're going to be pruning it at that time. But with the one that blooms twice, you're going to definitely lose some flowers. But you may want to start to remove some of the larger canes all the way to the ground and do just a portion of it at a time. Okay. Let's go to Paul in Sun Prairie. Hi, Paul. What's your question? Yes. I've heard about this worm that you can get in your soil that destroys um, your soil. And I have um, part of my yard. Uh, the soil is just washing out. And it's right next to an arborvita. And that side of the arborvita appears... Uh, to be dying. Okay. So I have a question: What you might think, or? Well, that that you're referring to these jumping worms, and what happens is that they um, use up all the organic matter in the soil. But typically, you're not going to have it impact of something like an arborvitae. It's it's going to be, well, ultimately, it could potentially, but you don't see a side of a plant dying because you have soil impacted. And you, when you dig the soil, you'll see these things. They, they are actively moving. They don't necessarily jump, but they, they just squiggle around very, very fast. So you don't want to move it from one part of your yard to another. And it, it, is, it is a problem, and we do not have a good solution as far as getting rid of that yet. Oh, you, there is nothing. Not, not yet, no. Well, that's disheartening. Yes. Let's go to Luetta in Spring Green. Hi, what's your question? Uh, we have been fighting a fungus or a white mildew mold on a lilac bush for three years unsuccessfully. We've decided to remove the bush. Can you tell me if the soil in this location is compromised or can we replace it? with another bush. Well, the powdery mildew that you're referring to on lilacs is a very common condition, but it does, it's just an aesthetic thing. It does not really damage the plant or cause it to decline. It's something that the French hybrid lilacs just tolerate. But if you've, just, if you've already removed it, the material is not going to be left behind. Rake up any leaves that are or debris, and that will be gone. And if you want to replant a lilac, something like um, a Miss Kim, that is one that is much more it's much less likely to develop the powdery mildew okay Jeff in Partyville hi Jeff what's your question uh, the Mexican sunflower does that go by a different name I don't see it on the seed rack okay Mexican sun I I'm sorry I don't know the scientific name of that I apologize but if you call out to the Bruce company and ask them then then there's probably someone that could help you at the desk just ask for the plant desk yes all right okay. Gary in Madison hi Gary what's your question yeah I have a a hollyhock bush that I've had my mudroom all winter uh, rooting, and I'm want to, wondering when to plant that. Okay, is it hollyhock or honeysuckle? I'm sorry, honeysuckle. Okay, honeysuckle. Well, if you've been rooting that, what you're going to before you move it outside, you'll, you'd want to move it from water into actual potting soil. That then you would develop roots that are going to adapt much better outside. And wait, wait till things warm up. <laughs> soil's cold. The soil's cold. Just wait for now. All right, we're out of time. If you're on the line, stay there. Linda will go into the newsroom, talk to you off the air, right? Yes. All right.